Hey guys, welcome back to a new video here on my channel. It's been a very long time since I made a video where I actually talk, so some of you might not even have heard my voice yet. But yeah, that's it. And today I've got some build hacks for you in 1.17. These are not very new because, you know, 1.17 has already been out for a bit, especially the snapshots. But I figured why not make such a video again, kind of breaking up the content. So let's start. The first one here is a palm tree made with dripstone. So it's a good alternative to normal logs because you, you have to texture it gets thinner in the middle. You could also do this and Make it like this all the way to the top, of course. Then it looks like this, but I think it looks a bit better the other way around. So yeah, and I also just added some custom heads and coconuts uh, also here for a bit more detail. Then next up, a new design for some what are they called? Lily pads. Lily pad with flower on them. Using the big drip leaf and an amethyst bud as the flower. Uh, you can could mix these and the ones where you use coral fans. And here we have a hanging bridge uh, using some jungle slabs and lightning rods as the rope holding everything together. Only downside is that you have to walk on the sides because if you walk in the middle you'll just fall down. So could add barriers on the bottom but yeah, small little rope bridge. Looks really cool. Then this is another dripstone one. It's a wooden palisade. Which is mixed jungle wood and oak wood and then put some some of the pointed drips on the top to make it spiky keep all the bad people out and just adding a bit more detail you could obvious uh, you could also mix it with fences so that you have something like this just adds more detail and a variation in texture now before we continue to build hacks make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and check out my Discord server, it's linked in the description. Now this is a really cool one. It's uh, again with the big drip leaf and it's a gate for a garden or something. As it's really simple to build, you'll just have a two block path and then place them from the inside and you get yourself this little gate. Also added some of the moss carpets here for texture and the rooted dirt added to the path. Then the next one is for a market stand. Uh, in this case it sells fish. And you can use these uh, block of raw copper. It looks like the salmon and the block of raw iron looks like cod. So, you could just put them, surround them with trapdoors and you have a barrel of salmon or cod. Add some more detail to a marketplace like this. And it also looks really cool, especially with the invisible item frames on top of that. And by the way, if you don't know how to get the invisible item frames, it's a very simple command. It looks like this, I'll also put it in the description. And you get yourself an item frame which you can place and it's invisible. Very cool detail. Unfortunately, not working in survival, you can't craft these. But there are tons of data packs that you can install so you'll be able to craft them in survival. This next one is a really small one. It's a little stick for your parrot to sit on if you have a pet parrot that they found somewhere in the jungle. You can just 
place it on a lightning rod. And it can sit there. You don't need a, to build a cage or something. Just looks a bit more free. You wouldn't want to have your parrot walking around on the ground. Then the next one is a display stand for sword or rather the sword itself using a lightning rod as the handle and then chains for the blade. Now it's pretty simple to build, you just have to put stone cutters on the bottom so the armor stands have the right are on the right height to connect here like this. So just keep in mind that you have to do that. Just place the armor stands on top and if you want to have them perfectly straight you can just use a dispenser, put in the armor stand and power it and you should be able to recreate this very easily. Also used some glow item frames behind the torches as another detail right here. Now the next one is with the candles, specifically the red and the yellow candle. You can use them as mustard and ketchup if you're making a hot dog stand or something. It looks pretty cool. Would look even better if you could put, uh, if you were able to put different color candles on one block. But unfortunately, you can't do that. I just have to put it on the block next to it, but I think it works equally as good. Now for the next one, as you can probably tell, it's a boxing ring using the lightning rods and the chains, ropes that, that go around and just some copper on the edges to make it fit with the lightning rod. I also added a little pattern in the middle and this is the polished deep slate that I used around the bottom here. You can of course change the blocks if you want to. The building tip here is just using lightning rods and chains for the ropes that go around a boxing ring, which also looks very cool and very realistic actually. Now last but not least, this is a some kind of field, maybe a cornfield, maybe something else. Doesn't really matter. Just a cool detail if you have some kind of farm or something. Only thing here, what you have to keep in mind is that you can't place the candles on top of the bamboo, so you first have to place some blocks, then put the candles on top, break the blocks and then place the bamboo underneath it. And you should be able to use bow meal. No, you can't. So you'll have to bow meal the bottom ones in order to get the leaves on the top. And if you want the large ones, I just use the debug stick for that. But in survival, you can get these small leaves, put some candles on top, and you have some kind of corn field or advanced wheat field. I don't know. So these are all the build hacks that I have to show you today. Let me know if you can use some of them and if you have some more ideas on what you can build with the new blocks, make sure to write a comment and then I'll see you in the next one. Also make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you liked it, if you liked the video. And until the next one. Bye.